Hey everyone, before the video starts, I just want to once again direct your attention over to the Minus World channel, where some of my buddies and I get together and have some fun that I'm sure you'd enjoy. Since we're all gaming channels, we obviously play games together. Oh so no, I'm stuck. Another yeah. chance, guys. <laughs> but we also do some rather unique things together. Oh, that's so good. Is that his picture from famousbirthdays.com? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> Other times, we just get together and talk about stuff. You did it, Grant. One time, you bought me a beer, and then you left me at the bar, and I almost got arrested. <laughs> Wait, what? If you want to see a raw version of some of your favorite content creators and the absolute dumbass talking to you right now, that's the place to go. Oh, okay, come anything. on, guys, we can do this. Like, <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> it has the same vibe as your mom. <laughs> you know what to I do, guys. Leave you guys. How do I vent? Okay, so for yeah. Yeah, how do Finally. I, how do I kill people? Is it the E button? <laughs> Finally, you guys. I'm <laughs> Call good, good, good work, Grant. <laughs> Summon. This there is so go. dumb. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's, that's, oh, good. Wow, that's, that's good. good. Nice. That's really good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Good. But if you don't okay. share, okay. this okay. hand is going to break this Keep clock. It. Do it. <laughs> Whose hand is that? I know that's Sonic will break time. time. <laughs> Sonic, <laughs> Sonic break time. will break time. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time, and I hope to see you there. Now, on with the show. Uh, Winter gets to give me a big hug next time we meet up. Oh, hell Non winners yeah. do too. Okay, nice. <laughs> it's not just a prize, it's just a request. <laughs> Please, it's mandatory. I'm very lonely. Man, this storm is rough. So then. Where's this big energy reaction of yours? Okay, so technically I guess I know what they were doing here, but why would they care about the so-called energy reaction? Because Tails has a machine to detect energy, but why does he need it? According to the radar, it should be over that way! Okay, Tails, you keep an eye out. Whoa! What the? Ah! The engine! Tails, do something! Is it for you to say? We're going to... Oh my god. These two are the unluckiest characters I've ever seen. Like, not only did they get struck by lightning, but the lightning set the tornado's engine on fire, effectively wrecking it, and then they got sucked in by a hurricane, which teleported them to another dimension for some reason. Beats the hell out of my fanfiction. Oh, and what's this? Struth, I think they're dead! Huh? Tails, are you alright? Oh, I think so. Boy, that was some storm, huh, Sonic? Oh, blimey, you're alive! Huh? Who are you? Watch yourself, mate! Asking a Sheila's name and you ain't giving your own first! How did you manage to make a character that's somehow more unapologetically Australian than Ty the Tasmanian Tiger? That series is set in Australia. Is this racist? This is racist, right? It's okay, Marine. Tell you what, why don't you let me build a new ship for you? Oh, it's no use. Suddenly silver. So, what sort of materials do you need exactly? Let's see. There should be some stuff lying around. Aha! This here's what we need. Look for jewels or metal, like this. Well, that was easy. If the materials you're showing me as an example are just lying around here all over the place, why do we need Sonic to find them? Enough with the chin wagon, you lot! Let's give it a whirl, eh? First off, let's go explore that island! That island? Yeah, that's right. I grew up always scratching my head over what's on that there island. It's the perfect starting point for my adventures. It's that island to the west of here, right? I know that Tails is saying that for us, the players, but being that they're all obviously looking toward the island they're talking about, he doesn't have to delineate what direction it's in. They're all looking at it. Sonic Tails, look! Don't these there mushrooms look tasty? They're all over the place! Hey, uh, Marine? No worries, mate, no worries. I'll stick with Nkui. Man, she's hopeless. At any rate, where are we, Sonic? I've never seen anything like this! you never seen a jungle with giant mushrooms before? That's a lie, you've done it twice! Wait, are we like, inside a dinosaur right now? Why are those ribs stuck there otherwise? Did an animal try to walk through that hole, get stuck there, die, and then decompose while only its ribs got stuck to the ceiling? 
That's just sad. Oh! Who's there? What? Is someone there? Hey, I know that voice. Oh, Marine. How are you? Good day, Copper. I haven't seen you in forever, mate. Copper? Yeah, Tabby's a member of our village youth association. We call it the Coconut Crew. Wait, his name's Tabby? Marine, Sonic and Tails don't speak Australian. They don't know Cobber means friend. They probably think that's his name. I'm curious as to what that robot was that attacked us. <laughs> oh, I can tell you that, mate. What? Really? There's gotta be some secret organization that's out to get me, yeah? They're jealous of my famous adventures, and they want to put a stop to them. Slow down there, furry gender bent Alex Jones. Next, you're gonna tell me the giant mushrooms in Plant Kingdom are turning the frickin' frogs gay. Hey, you must be that blue hedgehog that everyone's talking about lately. You may be fast, but you're not as fast as me. Let's see what you got. Huh? Who are you? I am the Sultan of Speed, the unparalleled and unequaled Johnny. Ah yes, the Sonic series is known for its myriad of names that describe what the characters are all about. Marine because she loves the water, Tails because, you know, is Tails, Sonic because he runs at supersonic speeds, and Johnny because... He Johns? Like, I don't know. Huh! You really want to go up against me in a test of speed? What's the matter? Are you scared? Sounds interesting! You're on! Hold it! If you're looking for a test of speed, you gotta go through me at first! I'm Captain Marine, the speed milk drinking champion of Windmill Village! I don't have time to waste on humoring you, kid. Come on, Hedgehog! Let's do this! You're just scared I'll beat you, you mug. I don't blame you though, really. Wouldn't want to lose to a shield like me after all that Sultan Yabba. <laughs> um, Marine? I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this. Even from a kid. Alright, I'll take you on first then. That's the spirit! Have a fair go then. Okay, show him how it's done, Sonic. Don't be a bludger now. What? I thought... you... Huh? Oh, brother. What in the fresh hell was the point of any of that? Ugh, they always seem to get away right at the last second. Hey, where are you going? Those pirates have gotten their hands on the jeweled scepter. It's an ancient treasure from my homeland, and I've got to get it back right away. I see. So those guys were pirates. That's why they kept messing with us! Hmm, so you're caught up in all this too. Anyway, just why are you here, Blaze? Huh? Aren't you supposed to be back in your own world? Do you guys not pay attention to what anyone says? Blaze just said the scepter is an ancient treasure from her homeland. If she's here, you don't know where you are, and the thing she's after comes from her world. Two plus two should be fucking four! Okay, I'll get started on some blueprints for a radio tower then! A radio tower? Do we get to listen to music and climb all around on it, mate? Uh, not exactly. It's all finished, Sonic! Hey, listen up, everybody! You know how we made a tower to detect plasmid, electric, and magnetic waves? Yeah, okay, that tower. Oh yeah, that tower. You know, the one we made literally 10 fucking seconds ago? Well, I've detected some strange electromagnetic activity. Electromagnetic activity? What's electro... uh, magnetic mean? It's really weird. It's a waveform I've never even seen before. Tails, this is Blaze's world, remember? Things might be pretty different here. That's true, I guess. Wait. That electromagnetic activity, it's very unusual? Hey, do you know something about this? Yes. We have picked up unusual readings before. But the source is still unknown, and we only have a rough idea of its location. Here's something that I never thought about. If Blaze is a princess in this dimension, she clearly has a homeland that she oversees, right? The homeland that the Jeweled Scepter is from? 
If she's saying that they had already picked up on electromagnetic waves, that must mean she already has technology like this in her homeland, hey? Why don't we just go there instead of sticking on this island where we have to build everything from scratch? In fact, how did Blaze even get to Coral Cave where we met up with her? She didn't seem to have a boat or anything, and she came back with us. Aww. What's wrong, Marine? You seem awfully quiet. Huh? What is it? It looked like you were lost in thought or something. Come on! Where's all that energy you usually have? You mean the energy you're constantly and deservedly grilling her for? Aww. Marine, are you okay? You don't look so good. No! I'm f fine! I just, you know, figured that, uh, maybe you guys might want to crack at things. Sometimes the captain just needs a break, eh? Blimey! The door's moving! Marine, it's okay! It's only the wind! Huh. Scared? No, of course not! It's not like I'm scared of g g ghosts or anything. Besides, even if there are any uh g ghosts, I'll just b b beat them up. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> are you all right? Y yeah, sure. Okay, let's keep going then. Try not to worry, Marine. Well, thanks to my top-notch performance, nobody realizes that I'm really scared. Yeah, you're up for this year's Academy Award for sure. No, let's hold back. Huh? What? But why? The waters ahead of here are too rough for this ship. Really? Up ahead are ice floes and other floating obstacles. This ship doesn't stand a chance. Hmm. Well, we'll just have to tempt fight then. Make sail! Ice floes, huh? What sort of vessel would we need then, Blaze? Well, the easiest way to avoid them would be to just go right over them, but... Alright then! Just leave it to your captain! I'll come up with a plan! Hmm, I bet a hovercraft would probably work. Or, you know, a plane? Why don't we just make a plane? We'd be able to travel so much more easily. Yay! The hovercraft's done! That's tails for ya! This will allow us to expand our range of activities. Sonic, don't you think we should leave this one behind? Huh? Which one? You. What? No way! With a wider range, our conflicts with pirates will intensify. Oh. It would be best if... since we've met you! So, what was that you were saying before? Mm. Oh yes, it's an island that's to the east of here. Every so often I'd hear some real weirdo sound coming from way off in the distance. It was all a bit too noisy, so I went to see just where the heck it was coming from. Anyhow, that island seemed like the ground is shaking. Something like that. The ground is shaking, huh? But there are no volcanoes in this region. That sort of thing shouldn't be happening. Well, earthquakes don't need volcanoes in order to happen. Some of them happen because of the magma seeping into cracks that the magma itself causes on rocks, but not all of them. Hmm. Hi, mates. Take a gander at that. Wh whoa! What the? It looks like some sort of statue. Oh, Ripper! This could be some huge treasure, reckon? Think we ought to nick it, mates? No, Marine. Just leave it alone, okay? Oh, but this here could be the discovery of the century, don't you reckon? These ruins are valuable historical relics. Stealing from them is a criminal act. Oh, how come I'm always getting the rough end of the pineapple from you, eh? I'm not gonna get my paws all over it too much! Marine, stop! I said don't touch it! What if you break it? 
Come on, Blaze. No worries, really. The friggin' princess, who should know all about how the law here works, just told you in person that messing with these artifacts was a criminal act, and you did it anyway because of a selfish need to discover shit. I feel no sympathy for this character, and I have no idea why Sonic Team or Dibs thought she was charming. All she's done is whine, disobey when all we've been doing is looking out for her, and have a complete disregard for anyone's safety, including her own. I promised myself I wasn't gonna go off on Marine, or at least I was going to try not to, but god damn, she's so frustrating. Like, I know she's a kid, but there are kids who listen, damn it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck was that? Is everyone all right? Yeah, I. Huh? Sonic! Look down there! Oh! Oh, crikey! Th th those are clouds! Yeah! Talk about a view! Okay, Marine Ex Machina, but just because she advances the plot, that doesn't make her any less overbearing and- Are you kidding me? Another cloud level packed with bottomless pits? Altitude limit from the last game wasn't enough for you? Hey, S Sonic? Why... Why don't we just back away from the edge here? Yeah? Huh? Blaze, is something wrong? No, no, come on. We just need to back away, hmm? Th then everything be fine. Why, Blaze, don't shove! Wait, you're afraid of heights? But most of the gameplay in the Rush series involves doing a bunch of acrobatic moves that keep you airborne for long periods of time. Also, don't you have a fire move that lets you descend safely? Okay, I know that much like Marine, I'm a whiny bitch, but I have to complain about the enemies in Sky Babylon. It's not enough that there's a bunch of bottomless pits and insta-kill lasers here, but the fact that you put enemies that are tough to avoid right next to those bottomless pits and insta-kill lasers is garbage, especially when they can knock you right into them. Woo! It's a huge feel of what? Look at all this snow. This is cool. Well, it sure is pretty, but it's cold, too. Marine, are you holding up okay? Oh, so then this is snow, eh? Oh, it's so chilly! It's so c cold We should build a snowman here to commemorate my arrival here. I might- Why did you say, oh, so this is snow, like you didn't know what it was, but you know what a snowman is? It's a house made of ice! Struth! I'm gonna go check it out! Marine, wait! There's no way to stop her, is there? Hmm. What's wrong, Blaze? I don't see the Vikings. We ought to have seen them by now. Might they be in those houses? They've got outsiders on the premises. They should have come to take a look. That's a good point. Maybe they're tightening their guard. Or else... Hey! You lot! We've... we've got trouble! What is it, Marine? I... I knocked on the door, and I didn't get an answer, so I took a peep inside, and nobody's in there! What? I thought it was weird, yeah, so I looked at some other houses, and they're all empty! Some other houses? You just left! How did you break into so many other people's homes so quickly? What's happening? Is this an earthquake? Marine! Get under the desk! Oh, no, wreck it, mate! I'm sticking right here! Cool, then just have the house collapse on top of you, you ingrate! Kids, don't be like Marine. If you're caught in the middle of an earthquake while indoors, drop to the ground, cover your head and torso to avoid falling objects hitting you in the head or vital organs, and hold on to either the shelter you've hidden under in case it shifts, or your head and torso if there's nothing to hide under. If the pirates have the scepter, that's causing an increase in volcanic activity? It may just be a coincidence but the scepter cave was very deep underground. In fact, it was quite close to the planet's mantle. Right. We should probably assume a worst-case scenario, then. And if we don't get the scepter back, who knows what'll happen? Then we've got to do something about it first! Yes, indeed. right -o, coppers! Just leave it to me, yeah? How about you start with getting out from under the desk, Marine? Oh, so you were hiding under a desk. 
Good to know you're a raccoon of your word. So this is your hideout after all. Indeed. Arr, and you'll not be getting in through this here door neither, you troublemakers. It'd be far too strong to just blow down with any of your crafty little weapons. He's right. If the door can withstand the water pressure at this depth, then... Let us in, you fiend. Why, Fuzzy, give me a fair go at this. Arr, what is it then? How is it that you lot are able to get in here, then? Ha ha ha! You take old Captain Whisker for a fool, do ye? I'll not be telling you that if you line the bits in the middle of the door, it'll open! Uh, I mean, that much was obvious, right? Why are these characters treating it like he just let slip valuable information? Boss, you should probably not mention that! Huh? Darr! You're right! I've gone and blabbered too much! So, does that mean you're not going to tell us how to go about setting it? Dar, of course not! I'll not tell you about the three markers with hints on them! Nor will I be telling you what islands they be on! See, this is why you shouldn't just write down your passwords on a piece of paper, or if you do, at least put the paper behind something with another password you can commit to memory. And even then, there are only three stone circles, you don't really need to learn the patterns on them, just where each one of them are facing. And I get it, if you're a little older it can be more difficult to remember these things, but... Captain Whisker's a robot. Not to mention, even when all these things are considered, if he wanted to keep a record of what the password was, couldn't he have changed the pattern on the stone circles and kept it on him for safekeeping? I could tell you some good info if you didn't mind parting with some of your shinies. How about 800 rings? Just give me the rings and the info's all yours, mate. Agreed, mate. If you head southeast of the Blizzard Peaks, you can find a strange little island. Might have something to do with those brew you're trying to get into, mate. You greedy f Your world is in danger and you're like, eh, I need money to help save it, though. I... I can't just give up here. I gotta prove my worth as a captain, yeah? I gotta go and stop that old fuzzy face! I'm gonna prove that I'm not in the way by getting in the way! Huh? What's this? These are the ancient ruins? Look at what those fiends have done to this place! I guess the pirates decided to do a little remodeling! How dare they deface such priceless relics! What are you talking about? This looks like a beautiful city. The only defacing I see is that they hung a pirate flag on one of the buildings. Ahoy, ye scallywags! Allow me to be showing you a little something special of mine. And what's that? Be careful, Sonic! This could be a trap! All right, mateys. Do it! Aye, aye, sir! Huh? It's time, mateys! Three, two, one, go! Oh, ultimate evil, come forth to this world! Rule the seven seas! Justice is not welcome! Kindness is weakness! Master of evil, show unto us those mighty whiskers! And so it is I, the Dread Pirate Whisker! Wa-boom! <laughs> fantastic job, mateys. Uh. Boss! Boss! Sonic and the others, look! Well, what do you think? Our sheer awesomeness has you speechless, I see. <laughs> Was that just, like, an intro? I thought you were summoning a demigod or some sh**. You're inconceivably lame. Johnny, you're working with these guys? Ha, Sonic. I didn't expect to see you here. What a fantastic opportunity this is. Opportunity for what? Come, let us have our final showdown, here and now. Our final showdown? We've only ever faced you once. I kind of forgot you even existed. You didn't think we were rivals, did you? Because I got a rude awakening for you, buddy. Arr, Johnny! Don't be stealing me thunder here! Okay, boss. Fine. And I am serious. Today I shall teach you all the true meaning of fear and pain. Fear and pain? Yes! And that is, uh, is... Johnny, what does that mean? 
It means that you face them yourself. Ah, yes, of course! You hear that? I'll blow you to bits, you meddling pests! Oh, <laughs> so a little tag team action, is it? You guys are toast! Who said anything about a tag team fight? I'm only allowed to fight with one character, neither Sonic nor Blaze have said anything about fighting you together. Arr, what do we have here? A wee lass thinking to sneak up on me, it seems. No! Let me go! Arr, you're a feisty little sea dog then, aren't ya? You bushy-faced freak! bushy face. You really must learn to watch that tongue of yours, lass. Arr, let's see. How best to teach you that lesson? Mateys, bring out the device. Yes, boss, the device. What are you going to do to me? Ahoy, this here be a gift from me, boss. The most torturing of tortures. I call him Mr. Tickler. Yeah, boss, Tickler real good. Well, when you tell her she's feisty, that she needs to watch her tongue, and that she needs to be punished following by you tickling her, I feel very uncomfortable. Well, that's finally over. Yes, now we can finally put an end to all of this trouble. Speaking of which... Marine! Why were you trying to chase down the pirates all by yourself? Yeah, Marine, that's way too dangerous! Well, I mean, I just figured since, well, I'm the captain and all... You haven't learned a goddamn thing. Hey, Blaze! So about the Jeweled Scepter... It probably sank along with the pirates. That would be my guess. Hmm. Well, there still might be some way for us to find it. I appreciate the sentiment, but it must be on the seafloor by now. <laughs> hmm? What is it, Marine? Are you talking about this scepter? Ta-da! The, the Jeweled, Jeweled Scepter! scepter. The one and only! Well, I nicked it while I was captured when old Whiskers wasn't looking. Nicely done, Marine! No, no, no! She doesn't get off the hook just because she did one good thing. Okay, so in order to get the best ending, just like last time, we need to get all the Chaos and Soul Emeralds. And for one of the Soul Emeralds, you need to beat this Hidden Island stage twice. Once to unlock the mission that nets you the Emerald, and once to get the Emerald itself. But the entire time you're on a constantly moving snowboard where you have to deal with grinding on rails that have gaps in them that lead to bottomless pits, and if that weren't enough, after you get past the ice rails, you then have to jump between terrain that also has gaps in it, and since you're constantly moving, you have little control when you jump. Usually you'd be going forward anyway, so snowboarding in this game isn't the problem. The problem is adjusting your speed during a jump so you don't over or undershoot it. I spent 18 lives just to beat it the first time I found it so finicky. That's the Jeweled Scepter! Wait! What are you going to do with it? What do I plan on doing? I think you already know that, don't you? <gasps> if the Scepter really is the key spoken of in these legends... Then this power of the stars must be what he's really after. Isn't that right, Eggman? Brilliantly worked out, your highness. Brilliant indeed. Eggman Nature! Whoa, okay, three games in and that still makes my heart skip a beat. And it's even bigger than the ones before! Dr. Eggman, the equilibrium of the energy is beginning to degrade. <laughs> what timing? Now, Sonic, I'm afraid I've got things to do, so I'll be off. The Jeweled Scepter! Hold it right there, you twin mustached monkeys! That's specious. What in the world is causing all these quakes? I think it might have something to do with Eggman and Eggman Nega. And they're unleashing the power of the stars. Then we have to find some way to stop it. We can't just keep letting this happen. Don't worry, Blaze. I've got just a thing for the occasion. With the magma hurricane that I've built, we can burrow deep underground. Wh Why did you build that in the first place? Weren't you building a machine to help us get home? When did you find the time to build a machine that lets us burrow underground? No! Curse you, Sonic! 
<laughs> it's time to die, fools. Mega? Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> what? No! You're mad! Don't push that button! Planet Buster Laser! Fire! If you didn't want him to push the button, why design the machine with the button? Why do you even have that button? Marine X Machina, and I mean what the fuck? What is this thing in her hand? Can she just do that as a natural ability? Since when? Did Tails make it for her? When did he do that? Why would he think it would be a good idea to make something so reckless for her? Sonic, Tails. Huh. Thanks, guys. You're the best mates ever. And I won't just focus on adventures either. I promise that I'll study hard too. Good. And the next time we see each other, don't be too blown away by how much I've grown up. Good luck. And, and I, I'll, I'll be. Marine, come on. The captain's not supposed to cry. <laughs> if you stick with it, then we really will meet again someday. S Sonic. Yeah, it's not like this is goodbye forever, Marine. Tails. Spoiler alert, it was. Righto, coppers! Hey everyone, Charai5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSins pastiche of everything wrong with Sonic Rush Adventure. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month, or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with Sonic Rush? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char i 5 signing off.